the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand in each and every one of us. It's present. The kingdom of God is at hand when you're going to your service sites this week. The kingdom of God is at hand as we celebrate the Eucharist tonight. But the kingdom of God is also at hand in every interaction you have with a person. The kingdom of God is at hand in Snapchat. The kingdom of God is at hand in Facebook and Instagram. The kingdom of God is at hand, what I'm trying to say, in every part of your life. Whoa, the revolution has begun. Whoa, let the whole world hear this time. Whoa, together.
Father wills all goodness to the Son. The Son entrusts himself to the Father. That love continually going on and flowing out of that love, proceeding from that love, is the Holy Spirit. And we image this. If we use English terms, willing all goodness to the Son means the Father is to be for his Son. The Son receiving all goodness is from the Father. And entrusting himself. And this continually going on. The Holy Spirit is to be with the Father and the Son. And then I say we image this. So what does that mean? Every one of us begins life from. A strange word to describe. It can be a blend of love and laughter. Or a mix of hate and cries. Sometimes it's a friendly enemy It can be sweet before it's bitter And then change to bittersweet When chaos is all you see You won't believe what's underneath It's a beautiful mess Everything that I'm seeing Change to revolution, from revolution to the flame. Embrace life within the pain. Go and shout with new beginnings and show the world that you can make. A beautiful mess. Everything that I'm seeing, be a beautiful mess. Is what keeps me believing. talked about this this morning because we're made in the image and likeness of a perfect God. 
And we know that we look something like what God must want to look like by the sheer fact that God became man and dwelt among us. I want to live my life uncovered. I want to be more than a number. And all I need is your love. I want to live less ordinary. I want to be extraordinary. The right order begins with a relationship. You're a beloved son or daughter of God. That's who you are. And everything you do flows out of that. And notice now, if I'm the soccer goal and I mess up, I miss a kick and they score, where do I fall back on? I'm still a beloved son of God. I mess up, I sin. I'm still a beloved child of God. The devil works over time, messing the order up in our lives. This world can leave you breathless, chasing after every question, never knowing just what to think or say. Once I was full of passion, living each day like my last one. I lost along the way I want to live my life uncovered I want to be more than a number and All I need is your love I want to live less ordinary I want to be extraordinary and All I need is your never-ending means we can't live in ignorance. 
We have to seek to learn and understand about our faith. We may think, oh, that is so stupid. Why does the church teach that? But we have to ask, why does it teach that? And come to understand. Hope for the lost. Salvation for the sinner. You conquered the cross. did the only thing that he knew to do. He crawled into bed with his son, and he held him close, and he cried with him. That's the love that God the Father has each and every one of us, is that when our hearts break, his heart breaks too. He doesn't want to leave us where we are. been living life with this clenched fist, and inside is a hurt child who's built up walls because you don't want to hurt again. And just as a child clings tightly to something that they don't want to let go of, you're holding on to your hurts and your hang-ups and your habits, and you will never overcome these things by white-knuckling them. This life that I gave you is not meant to be lived with a clenched fist. It's meant to be lived with an open palm. So surrender, and trust me. I mean, just so many things, and we, we just can't thank them enough. It, it was wonderful watching them. They were thank amazing. You. They were kind to me. They were loving to me. The, the children, the, the young people were very, um, I, I can't, I've been bragging about them all week long. I'm telling them, like, oh, they, they're, they're Christ kids. They, they, they're so mannerable. And we don't say that enough about our young people. We don't give them the praise they deserve. And I just want to give mine the praise because they made me so happy. And I'm going to miss them, and I, I have friends. I'll, I'll see you again someday. <laughs>